Before we get into the video, make sure y'all like, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not sub to me by now, my content is fire for chats from his news videos, stop motions, tour reviews, tour photography breakdowns, music occasionally. My Instagram is linked down below. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so just in people, I literally just woke up like 20 minutes ago. And at 6 a.m. my time, we have some images leaked for Rise of the Beast, Deluxe Class, Wheeljack, and Nightbird. Now, people are saying from the source that this got leaked from, they're saying that these are not Studio Series figures. These are for the normal mainline Deluxe Class figures that we've known about for quite some time now that are a bit more simplified and inaccurate to what we're actually going to see. But I don't know, these kind of look like Studio Series to me. From what we heard about Wheeljack's head from the leaks and the test screenings, this is pretty spot on. This dude looking like Elton John, looking like freaking the Riddler at the end of Batman. But <laughs> in all seriousness, I don't think this looks bad. Uh, I actually quite like the change. I mean, it fits in character. He's He's sort of like nerdy and he knows how to fix stuff. So, I mean, why not do this change? But I can see why people are upset. And he also got, he also got the War for Cybertron Megatron kissy lips, like oh my god! But I don't think it's bad. Um, the vehicle mode obviously is in a licensed Volks Volkswagen. It's got that weird blue paint there, and it's just not the front of the vehicle that we see. But it, they do have the TV Pablo. Um, but in terms of paint, and it's not a licensed vehicle. I actually. I'm kind of changing my mind. These are actually probably those mainline deluxes, but who knows at this point, you know? But it looks all right. I don't think I want to get this. I mean, the colors are a bit too bright to me, which also makes me believe that these are for the mainline deluxes and not studio series. But he's all right, you know? I'm not blown away. It's just very exciting to see that we finally have our first look at these two designs because we haven't really gotten official looks at these designs yet. And he has those door wings, which is a bit odd, that I pointed out in the trailer. So, I don't, I don't know. The design is cool. It's an interesting change. I don't hate it like a lot of other people seem to hate it right now. Uh, there's his gun, which sort of looks like some sort of minigun from Cybertron. It's a nice looking gun. I don't, I don't hate it. I do like the way the head sculpt is painted, though. Like, it's got some nice details in there. I don't, I don't hate the head sculpt, okay, people. I don't think it's that bad. But if you don't like it, well, that is just your opinion, man. Uh, he is missing. I, I know, I know, these are rumored to be mainline deluxes, but he's missing a lot of paint to dirty this vehicle up, man. And like silver for the rims of the tires, and yeah. I don't think I'm going to be getting these simplified deluxes, but it's decent for those of you out there that want this. And you got some comparisons here. He's like a normal size deluxe. He's around the same height as Earthrise Wheeljack. He's smaller than Studio Series Ironhide in vehicle mode, which, eh, that's not really in scale. I would expect him to be this size, but I'm sure... With the Studio Series figure, he might be a bit bigger in vehicle mode. Not obviously not sure, but and then there he is with Nightbird. We're gonna talk about Nightbird next. And her head sculpt is way more G1 accurate, as you could tell. It's it definitely looks like Nightbird with some new modernized designs. I do like this head sculpt a lot. I like it more than Wheeljack. The colors here threw me off because there is brown on the actual vehicle mode in the movie, but. It's not as bright and it's not as much. So this leads me to believe that it's probably based off concept art and probably not a Studio Series figure. Because for the Studio Series stuff, I'm pretty sure they got the finalized designs. And there is definitely not this much brown on Nightbird that we saw. The bits and pieces that we saw of her in the trailer. She looks alright. Um, I, I like her more than Wheeljack, just off of first look. But, I mean... I don't know, I'm just not digging the more simplified deluxes, but I'm sure if you're collecting on a budget and you just want simple stuff from the movie, these will probably be perfect for you, but me, I'm awake for the Studio Series. She comes with a katana and this like weird uh, arm-mounted knife weapon or whatever. It sort of looks like a fork, but um, 
the it's all right accessories. I mean, maybe get it to go along with the Studio Series Nightbird, just so she has some added weaponry, maybe. But yeah, car mode is all right. Don't like the extra brown added, but it's a decent looking car mode. I'm not gonna hate on it. And then for weapon storage. <clears throat> You could plug the katana back there, which does not look good. I would not advise to do that. But you could also do that. I don't know if that's like a weapon she uses in the movie during a car chase or what, but that is something that you could do. I'm not, I definitely don't know what that is for. But, and then there's the back of it. Looks like a pretty simple transformation. Her head is like right there. Uh, and then here, there she is next to the Takara Thrilling 30 Nightbird. You could definitely see they kept some cues from her G1 design, especially the head sculpt and how she's like a ninja sort of character. So, yeah, I'm di I'm digging this reimagining of Nightbird. The figure, not so much. I'm not really feeling these simplified deluxes. They look they look all right, but I'm just waiting for those Studio Series figures because I definitely did like the Studio Series Air Razor as opposed to this Air Razor. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Wheeljack's head, I mean, I don't hate it like I keep saying, but I could totally understand why people don't like it. I mean, honestly, it's a good head sculpt for a robot, a transformer, but for Wheeljack, I sort of wish they would have just went with the Bumblebee head. I mean, you had a perfect live-action Bumblebee, or a Wheeljack head to go with in the Bumblebee movie. And then to change it like this and still call him Wheeljack is... I don't know. There's there's a ton of more science y nerdy-type Transformers characters that they could have named this guy besides Wheeljack. So it does feel like a name slap, and they just chose that name so it's a more popular character attached to this film. But yeah, I do like the silver details on this head sculpt, and the glasses are cool with the translucent plastic and the blue paint there for the eyes. Or that might be light piping, I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel about this design change for Wheeljack. How are you guys feeling about the girl herself, Nightbird? I'm excited to see her face off against RC. We get a little bit of that in the trailer, and I definitely want to see more. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below how you guys are feeling about this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of this video.